Good evening, everybody. Well, it's, it's a strange one here for me to be doing F4, but here we are nonetheless for round two of the F4 division here at the Far East Circuit of Malaysia. Joined tonight by me, XRL Bobbitts, once again, but I'm not streaming tonight. Instead, you it runs the capable hands of Wes. Good evening, Wes. <laughs> of Wes. Yeah, the capable hands of Wes. Yeah, why oh, not? No. <laughs> oh, you know I'm you right. put the trust in me. I put, I, <laughs> my, I put my faith into you. So don't let me down. <laughs> <laughs> Put the pressure not, on me, not, yeah. Not, not like I let myself down for every time I do my bloody streams. <laughs> for whatever <laughs> reason, it's just not sorting. Something's always wrong every week. <laughs> yeah. Whether, whether, whether it's video goes. quality, audio quality, like outs, you name it. Everything happens in one night. But anyways, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> well, yeah. Anyways, back back to the F4 division, and uh, well, we've only got seven minutes of qualifying remaining, and currently, uh, J. P J. Pierce is on pole in the Toro Rosso with a 36.9, three and a half tenths clear of uh, Isle of Jigsaws, who is covering in tonight for C. Palmer, who is unable to race. But between second and all the way down into tenth, which is, as I said, Jigsaws down into down to grave digger in P10, it's six tenths of a second. So though. That's re it is really close at the moment between everybody in the, well between the first ten actually. Then there's a bit of a gap to those uh, just uh, behind that, which involves Chris and I, Leroy. But it's really close at the moment, was. It is very close at the moment. The dog is having a horrible time with it. Though, I have to admit that one in the background. <laughs> it's because he's only going in here with me and the other dogs in the living uh, room because he's allowed in there and he's not. <laughs> oh, how how mean of you! But the next row corner is a bit late on the DRS. He's a twelve-week-old pup. You got to, you know, that's why, we, that's why he's not allowed in there. <laughs> anyway, you've got to let him moan. <laughs> yeah, enough about my dog, anyway. Right, right. I'm, a, I'm on board with I Love Jigsaws at the moment. Currently P2 on a 137.2. Um, not well. He's, obviously, as I said, he is coming in tonight, and he's done a good job so far. As he comes in towards turn four, it takes. Oh, uh, looks like he went to first gear then. Actually, he tried to Mario Kart it through there. It clearly, didn't work, and he's lost time as a result. So as he comes through turn 5 and 6, obviously flat out through turn 5, one downshift into 6 and just about keeps it on the white line, so not too bad there from Jack into towards the double right-hander of 7 and 8, takes a lot of speed, good traction, doesn't use all of the, the racetrack though, so probably scrubbed off a little bit of his speed and now in towards turn 9, does he go into first gear? Oh yes he does and there's the corner cut there from Jack, who that was... Uh, that's as big as cut as you're going to see and uh, well if that, if that cap isn't discounted then there is something wrong with this game. There is probably something wrong with this game, but Speed Demon, not sure on how much of a good lap this is, but he's going to finish in nonetheless. Probably going to go quicker than his original time, only by two tenths. He's gone fifth, though. So it's not, it's not too far off. But it didn't look like he was having the best time of it, to be honest. He was uh, struggling quite a lot. He's Speed Demon, though, it's, he's good. So I think he's probably got enough fuel to go even quicker than he already has. Well, I've now got on board with Irish Blue, got it in the Ferrari, currently P6, another guy who set a lap time of a 137.4, as I said, from second down into tenth, it is really close at the moment, there's only two tenths separating all of them, so anything can happen, as Blue going to go across the line, activate the DRS, and as he comes down towards turn one, clocking out around about 200, 208 miles an hour there from Blue, so he's got good straight line speed, but could that compromise him through the middle sector, maybe he's gone for a more low downforce aero here, and uh, gain what time he's lost uh, in the middle sector on the, obviously the long straights here because there are well there, there are two very decent long straights and then there's the the, the back straight coming in towards turn four here so he, that's where he could, he's going to gain his time as he comes through turn four now actually takes far too much speed into it and as a result goes quite goes a fair bit wide but still manages to keep it within the track limits through turn five. Oh, that was a great corner by you and great corner by you and the promotion at corner he just absolutely nailed that I think. On the apex, curb out of it as well. No actual problems with any traction loss or understeer. That was perfect, but then he does turn one. He's actually gone for a deep sort of. Oh, he's had a bit of oversteer coming out of the corner, but he's going for a quicker way. No, no, not going for a quicker time, but a steal. The way now that long corner is fantastic. Really brilliant for him, but he's still in eighth. Blue oh, Charlie Whiting. This is Blue going to Mario Kart in it through turn 9 there in that downhill left-hander. Goes wide actually into the penultimate corner. Really difficult corner that is to get your turning point correctly and take just enough speed so you can just use all the track because the track does tighten on the exit and it is quite difficult for mm. these drivers. He's, he comes down towards the final corner now, Blue Gunner. Again, runs a little bit wide, probably downshifted again into first gear just so he could get more of a turn in. 
gets on the power. It looks like to be a small improvement from him, and it is. He goes P2 with a 37.1. Good luck from Blue Gunner there. And Charlie Whiting improves to a 37.5, puts him ninth. I said that, that everybody is so close. I mean, we've even got XL Cornish up in fourth place. I never thought I would be hearing that. <laughs> or even, well, not hearing that, but saying that, let alone Same. looking at this. <laughs> but Cornish, anyway, he's going for an, uh, well, what will now be his last attempt in qualifying. 137.3 is his best time, as I said. He's in the Williams as he come down, comes down in towards turn one. Breaks up the... Uh, got the pit exit actually, that white line, that time seems to be everybody's breaking mark and it comes into turn 2, it would take a really tight line there, it's actually put I him off, he's gone off onto the kerb. It's starting to rain. <laughs> yeah, it's there starting to rain in quality. Yeah, so. there is, there was a 19% chance of rain in quality, it's come at the end of the session for these guys thankfully, but Cornish has gone really wide at turn 4 and I think that's his lap over and done with already, he's actually dropped a position now into P5, so somebody else has improved and that person well, Ewan's P4 on a 37.27. So it must have been Ewan. Yeah, and you've got Jigsaw's in third on a 37.26. And then Blue Gunner, as I said, he's on a 37.1. I think Blue Gunner's actually on a second lap here. He's, he is on another lap, I think. It looks... I, c I really can't tell by the time, but I no, think I he is. It looks like it, but he did de deploy his DRS a bit later there, but he's still get getting yeah. quite a lot of speed. So I think he is on another lap, as you said, Wes. Into the final he's corner. He's on another lap where he's setting one up. It's well, he's Mario Karted it through that final corner quite, quite easy time into first gear. <laughs> I think he's setting up another Nobody lap because it was only a 138, so hopefully he's got enough fuel for another lap. I will get on board with him later on. JPS current pulses are on an out lap. Ooh, on an out lap with a minute to go. He's got to get his boots on and get going. Chris, he's, well, it's not his teammates at all. Russell so Chris 92 is in P14 at the moment and on 38.9. He needs, needs to pick up his pace a little bit, and well, even uh, Cornish is pitting from fifth, so that's that's him over. Cornish is uh, uh, qualifying over. Extra great digger. He's done thirty-seven point eight, a good lap time, only nine tenths off Paul, and he's down in P twelve. Just showing how close these guys are. DRS deployed from Grave Digger as he comes down the back straight with only the final corner to go. So I look at reference reference points here. It doesn't look too bad. I don't know if it's improving because the rain might. Could be affecting him, but he's taken that final corner really well. Grave digger gets on the power. Fat really Penguin early. does a 36 8. Pa Fat Penguin's pole 36 8. Pole Grave digger, he's gonna do another P10. lap. 37 5 for Grave digger to P10. He's got he might have. I don't, J Pierce won't lap. make it. J Pierce isn't gonna make it. He's going to the last corner. That's he's, got, he's not made it. No, so J Pierce can only uh, get second at best. Charlie Whiting, last week's winner. Uh, out in Melbourne, it was a Ferrari 1 2 last week, wasn't it? Was if I'm not mistaken? Yes, yeah, it, it yeah, wasn't. it was uh, by Charlie Whiting and then Irish Blue Gunner. Indeed, it was, but and Charlie Whiting, well, Blue Gunner's got his, um, he's doing his bit, he's, he's on the second row at the moment in P3, but Charlie Whiting now only in P9 at the moment, and oh, he's done a bit, he's doing a bit of a weave, and he, that's his qualifying over, he's messed up his final attempt, and Charlie Whiting is only going to be P9 at best. He's in the pits as well because of it. Indeed, ACPX beats currently P7 on 37.4. Again, as I've just mentioned several times, so these guys are so close. And you get just a tenth at here or two anywhere can improve. So Chris many goes into 13th. Chris goes into 13. He's gonna. Which Chris? Chris 92 or, or hold back? Uh, Chris 92. Chris 92 is that for hold back? <laughs> Chris on the. On the uh, into last place at the moment, but ACPX beats coming into the final corner now. Takes up really well. Oh, he's got a bit too much oversteer and poor traction out of that last corner, though. It, I don't think he's going to. It could be a small improvement, actually. It is P4, 372. And I love Jigsaw's. He's Jigsaw's not going to improve on his life. It, this is definitely Ewan's an in-lap for him. Craig Digger is not. I think that's, that's it. Penguin's boxed in. Uh, and the whole bark is going very slow as well. Indeed, so, so there you go, Awful guys. car stopping. So, that, so there you go, guys. That's qualifying over. And Fat Penguin takes it by literally... Three quarters of a tenth ahead of Jay Pierce. Then you've got Irish Blue Gunner up on the second row with ACPXBs. Then you've got Jigsaw's fifth. Ewan close behind him sixth. And Conch again close behind him in seventh. He then finds Speed Demon's eighth. Charlie White in last week's winner. Only P9 and Gravedigger rounding out the top ten. But if you look at that, Wes, the top 12 covered by less than a second. And even Chris 92, only 1.1 off the pole time. And he's P13. And a nice finish there by... <laughs> oh, crikey, that is a very close session. Look at that. And I, and I thought the GP2 guys were close enough where the top six were covered.
by just over a quarter of a second. But these guys seem to be even closer, especially in that you know from no. third, from third down yeah. to to twelve. That is absolutely fantastic from the F R guys. Top so twelve, far. nine tenths. Damn. <laughs> Damn indeed. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only word I can think of to sort of describe how close that is. That's amazing. <laughs> fat Penguin takes pole though. Everyone loves it when you say Fat Penguin, Josh. You see, you say Fat Penguin once, and then for the rest of the race, you just see wonder, Fat Penguin in I the comments. I wonder if he had a toy That's a Fat Penguin. <laughs> a toy? We all know XRF should start selling it as merchandise. Fat Penguin toys, everybody. <laughs> well... Maybe. Get <laughs> well, some merchandise out there. Maybe we'll have to ask him later on. <laughs> Would it be alright if we use your name to sell merchandise? Uh, why not? I don't care. <laughs> Fat penguin, oh, that's brilliant. You've got a pot penguins, very good round. Penguins for sale! <laughs> uh, I won't do that again. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, guys, news. that was a, a really good, really good start to uh, this F4 division. Uh, if you've got any, um, any messages you'd like to send us, obviously you can send them on the... Um, on the Twitch chat box, or you can send them personally to myself to XRL Bobbitt or to F1 X Speed. As Hull Barker's, which is Chris, has actually sent me a message simply saying, "Let's see if I can get points." Well, he's starting last, so let's let's hope the best for him. But as I said, yes, he is starting P14, and it is going to be a dry race, so we are going to be seeing the quickest pace that we can see that we can get from these guys. But let's have a quick run as uh, once again from back to front. So we got. Paul Bark, a.k.a. known as Chrissy's mum Susan, who occupied P14, <laughs> sorry, it's just so funny that he's actually on his mum's account, <laughs> and I've said that Is he on his mum's account? <laughs> if <a> reason, <laughs> but I'm not going to say he's having to use his mum's account, yes. <laughs> Aww, did he ask his mummy? His, his mum's account was on his Xbox anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'll, I'll start again. So we've got Chris, uh, the two Chris's occupying the back row in 13th and 14th. Then you find I, Lee, Roy in 12th. Harry Dean, probably disappointed with himself in uh, starting P11. Then you've got Gravedigger P10. Charlie Whiting, last week's winner at Melbourne, all starting P9. Then you come to the mid pack of Speed Demon 8th. XRL Cornish, not doing too bad for 7th place. Uh, you've got Ewan in 6th. Uh, I Love Jigsaws coming in for tonight. It starts in the front of the third row. Then you come to the top four, we've got ACPX Beast, Irish Blue Gunner, runner-up last week, and he could take advantage of his teammates starting further back, so this could be good for Blue Gunner. Then at the front row, we've got JPS and Fat Penguin, who put in a stonker of a last lap to get himself on pole position. But the only way we're going to find out is who's going to cross the line within 28 laps time, no matter about an hour's time, is by getting out on, onto the track and get going. But Wes, prediction, who would you go for for the win? Prediction, who would I go for? Uh, JPS. You're going for JPS. Well, I'm going to push the boat out. Well, not really push the boat out, but I'm going to go for a different one. I'm a, and I'm going to go with Blue Gunner. Definitely, yeah. Well, we saw from the GP2 division how close it was in qualifying, but um, jammed those streets away, so hopefully we don't get the same here and everyone can have a really good tussle and battle with one another. Once, why is it every time I'm in the catering, it puts me in the cockpit view? I do not understand that. As much as I love seeing what my tyre temperatures are, I don't really care. Right, well, anyway, guys, we've got three lights, four, five lights, and it's lights out, and away we go for round two here in Malaysia. Stop, stop trying to get ahead of me, Speed. <laughs> fat, pe fat, fat Penguin bogged down a little bit at the start. He's under pressure from the Toro Rosso. There of Jay Pearson. Blue Gunner's actually looking to make a move on the inside. Backside. Oh, the side oh, pod glitch. Oh, what the? Jay Pearson is gone. That was a really bizarre side pod glitch there. And Jay Pearson is gone. There was that, that was. Uh, there's another one. There, there was a Williams that, as well that involved. Wasn't, that was not Fat Penguin's fault. Jay Pearson made the move on the outside. But Cornish. It was Cornish. Williams of Cornish as well was gone. But ACPX Beast has taken full advantage of that. He's up into P2 after starting fourth, and Blue is under pressure from the McLaren on the inside there for P3, he's, and he's lost the position to that McLaren. And that is that CFC, that's Ewan up into P3, and he's actually on the prime tyres. 
But I'll tell you what, he's going to be doing the front two guys a huge favour here. They're going to streak, they're already streaking away, they've got the best part of two seconds clear already. And Ewan is going to be holding this pack up. They all find them among each other, you can just see them. Uh, I think even Chris is on the back of them as well. The people who spun aren't too far off as well. They're all just trying to get in the single file, but they're all flying about. And it's costing well, them all time. Well, Irish Blue got it on, on his option tyres. That's what he's gone for to begin with. He's now on... Oh, well, and a Mercedes. <coughs> I think that is right just tag up the inside of it. Oh, has someone lost a bit of their wing? Uh, one of the McLarens has lost their full wing. And it's well, Mayhem it's at the team, back it's, where... It's, you, it's whoever Ewan's teammate is, and Ewan's teammate is Speed Demon. It's that Speed Demon who was, who's lost his whole front wing, but out in front, Fat Penguin, has got a roundabout of a, sec, a second gap over ATP XB. So then you'll find that these have got a huge gap already to Ewan. And, well, he's actually only going to be followed... He's only followed closely by Blue Gunner and um, Beast's teammate in the in the sister Red Bull. And he, who's his teammate? It's his Jigsaw. So I love Jigsaws and... Well, these three, P3, 4 and 5, have got a bit of a gap already to those behind us. That's probably Speed Demon going Look at that, they're, they're all slipstreaming and fighting here at the back. It's going to be three, well, not the back, floor. Eighth, seventh place. Oh, the Ferrari goes into Williams. A little bit argy-bargy from turn one. Of course, they've got Grave Digger right on the back of them. But it's not getting frisky, it's getting argy-bargy. It's getting argy-bargy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Frisky sounds more of a weird, uh, dirty word than you know, Argy <laughs> Frisky could mean quite a lot of things if you think about Argy Bargy. Also, actually, that can also be a little thing, but yeah. Oh, Irish, Irish Blue Gunner having a look on the inside of you in there going through turn six. That would have been a fantastic move, but he just had to back out of it. But ewan has gone wide at turn seven. This is Blue Gunner. Oh, he's just had to back out of it at the last second. Ewan is really holding up Blue Gunner here as he's trying to catch up to the front two, but to be fair, Ewan's not really lost too much time on this lap, or in particular to Beast, so he's not doing a bad job at the moment, but it is, it is early days here. Coming towards the right hander of turn, of turn 11, and Blue Gunner's actually going to make a move here on the outside of turn 12. This is going to be a fantastic overtake for Blue Gunner if he pulls that off, and, so, and he actually does. That is unbelievable from Irish Blue Gunner. That is a fantastic overtake, and takes that P3 that was crucial that he got ahead of CFC X Ewan. And he did, and now he can say it's catching down to the front two. Sadly, I missed that. I was just trying to get to it, and I went the wrong way. Jesus Christ. You are useless. I'm useless. <laughs> yeah, I'm absolutely useless. I'm joking. You're not really. I just wish you could have got that. <laughs> I'm not used to just wish I could have got that. Brilliant just overtake. Wish. Just, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's coming back to the field, it's got a, Harry, not only the P6, but as yeah. you think you're just going to mention, it's Harry D in the Mercedes. Paul, um, Look at the Ferrari. He's, he's Charlie's going to try and pass the Williams. Trying, trying to take the Williams, as you said there, Wes. Around the, around the outside. And he takes Leroy. And, I Leroy Is he going to get the Mercedes? Is this gonna be he's going to get the Mercedes as Charlie well. Wayne, he's on the inside, oh, but he's got poor traction, and the, the Mercedes there of uh, Harry gets, better, as I said, much better traction. He manages to hold on for now, but Charlie White is looking really racy at the moment. The double right hander Charlie Whiting taking the dirt to dirty air into account there. Didn't lose too much time as, uh, as Harry ran a little bit wide uh, coming through the um, the exit of turn 8, turn 9 now. And they're actually starting to close in on the back of uh, I Love Jigsaw here. So Jigsaw's got a decent qualifying. It's probably slightly lacking in his race pace. But you know, it is early days here, guys. So pro everyone will probably be doing a two stop, but we do have some split strategies here. So it's going to be really interesting towards the end of the race and as to how people are going to work out their strategies and uh, well it depends on how they're going to go because it's, it's two options and one prime stint I would recommend if anyone uh, for who's racing tomorrow night yeah. in F5 and T6 to go for but I'll tell you what out in front I think Beast has started to close in a little bit on the back of um, a Fat Penguin on, he's at least trying to maintain that gap because Charlie Whiting has got the DRS um, excuse me and Harry in front, but Harry's got the same advantage to uh, the Red Bull of I Love Jigsaw, so it's kind of been negated here, but he's got the slit stream. Is he going to go for a dive bomb down to turn one? He was thinking about it, but decides wisely not to. Oh, oh he had to hit the back of him, as, uh, as Jigsaw says, so he made a bit of a mistake here, and uh, oh, if Harry didn't have poor attraction then, he could have had a good run, but he said he's going to have to defend from Charlie Whiting. Going towards turn four, Charlie Whiting right on the back he's of him. probably going to oh, just launch up the inside, isn't he? He is, yeah. he's, he's trying it again. Oh, it's a bit of a car. 
and have yeah. to back out of it for now. But that's the second time he's tried to go for that and it hasn't paid off for him, so maybe he needs to try somewhere else and try something different. It's very easy to go around the outside of that for now, because you just get better traction than the guy on the inside. So it's, uh, it's an easy move around the outside, which is a bit of a strange thing to say, but it's easier than going around the inside. Well, it is, yeah, because you'll get the better traction on the outside. But then again, if you get the if you get the corner perfectly on the inside, then you should be able to, to make the move. So you can pass either way, it's just a case of what you prefer. Yeah. It is very, very close here. <laughs> We've got it the two is, well, people now behind Charlie as well, as in front. Indeed, we do. Was uh, the front three of as well? Yeah, Blue is now starting to close in on the front two. So those front three have actually got a bit of a gap for those behind, and then you and in P4, almost prime tyres. He's doing a really decent job here, and I think he's going to be one to Go watch on, out for towards the end of the race. But Jigsaw's has got the DRS on the back of him. It is a double DRS zone here, so. It'll probably be best to stay behind him for now, and he does, even though you and did defend, he didn't need to, and that's compromised him on the exit. But then again, Jigsaw gets a poor exit himself, but it might not matter. He's got the DRS, he's got the slipstream. Probably put it into rich mixture as well. He get, he's in the slipstream now, he's, uh, there goes his speed, he's overlapping, he's going to go, he's to go the to the outside. Trying to do a late breaking maneuver here, you and defends well to the inside, but Jack's got the traction. And to hang it and bottom grip round the outside. Oh, you and tried to cut across in there, but that's a good move by Jigsaw. And look Charlie's at Charlie's trying to pass Harry him. as well. Look at the train behind him, and yes, Charlie Whiting. Charlie Whiting's got ahead of uh, of Harry. As, as Ewan's actually Ewan. on the inside. Is that Ewan? Yeah, it's Ewan looks yeah. again. Ewan's still on the inside of Jack. Oh, oh it's Chris. Got Charlie even a little bit one. of a nudge there, probably caught up by the early breaking Jigsaw. Lose and, and indeed, yeah, he's lost two places, places as a result of that. Oh, look at this. You, oh my god, Jack on the inside. Whoa, he's done it. Please. Oh, that's better, that's better than Ciaru's. That is better than Ciaru's, I will say, because it's, it's not on me. Toro Rosso in the background has also passed Charlie. <laughs> it's not on you. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so Charlie Wayne has lost three places uh, as a result of that. But we have a train of six cars here from fourth down into ninth. And, well, Charlie Wayne, who was... Oh, wow, the Toro Rosso. Oh. Trying to pass around the outside of that oh, corner, corner cut there. Harry, uh, Harry does a big, big corner, corner cut. cut there of turn 11. It's Jay Pierce, so Jay Pierce fighting back in 8th place here. Oh, Last one it. of them, he's going to try and fight through this train. Oh, Jack's on uh, really, and Jack's on, Jack's on really wide at the pull penultimate corner, and you, this is you and oh Chance, he's got God. a DRS. Is, everyone's going to have DRS in the back of their... Uh, yeah, they are. Here. Ewan's, Ewan's gone to the outside, but the problem is that Jigsaw's is going to have the DRS coming in to, in towards turn oh, 1. Oh, Ferrari! <laughs> Up the inside hits the Williams, which hits the Mercedes. Uh, Charlie's past Jay Pierce, and Mercedes lost out to the Williams. <laughs> well, I think happens, Leroy. <laughs> but, but yes, it is Leroy up into P6. Jigsaw's in P5. Didn't He's get the best attraction they wanted out of that final corner. Couldn't close Harry's missed his breaking. No way. Harry's missed his breaking no, on Charlie Whiting. a wide line. <laughs> Charlie having having a look, trying to trying to get the cutback, but the, he's got one Jay up Pierce. Russell, Jay Pierce trying for an ambitious move, and he's taken that fantastically. <laughs> That's how you do the move. Say what, Leroy's had a good run on the back of Jigsaw's. He has a look in terms of backs out of it. Oh, well, Jigsaw's has gone wide, actually. He's gone wide, and Leroy's going to make a move on him. And he, indeed, he's passed him before turn five, so Leroy moves his way up into P5. Nice and turned by Leroy to get through the hill. There's a struggle. Oh, Jigsaw's has gone really gone wide, wide again. Oh, oh. into Jay Pierce. Harry up the inside, Jigsaw. I'm not going to get that done there. Oh, 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 gives him a nice oh, little tap. Oh, oh, and then oh, JP is taps him. Oh, nearly loses it. Charlie Whiting taking that position, but this is just crazy. Oh, oh he's going to miss the brakes, he's hit Harry. <laughs> This is just as mental as the end of the GP2 race last night. Charlie Whiting and JP is side by side into turn 11, but Charlie Whiting's got the inside line. Oh, he holds on to it for now. But as a result of this, this is now turned into a pack of a pack of two and a, and a pack of four now. Or even three twos, you could say. Oh, Jay Pierce taps the back of Charlie to make him go wide, then into three strong goes this one. Well, Jay Pierce on, up the inside and fast. I've, I've gone on the back of Lee right now, who's in P5. He's gone, got the DRS, he's on the inside of you, and he's taken that position, but Ewan's going to have the DRS in turn one. I don't know if Lee Roy's uh, realised that, but he's compromised himself, really. And yes, indeed, Ewan does have the DRS. He's in his slipstream, he's right on the back oh, of his gearbox, God. and this should be easy, mate, for him. I'm a bad feeling about these four cars going into turn one now. I don't I'm, know getting why. On board, I'm getting on board with this. Harry up the inside, he's all over the curve. None of them missed their brakes, that's why I expected them to all miss oh, their brakes. Jay Pierce on the inside of Ferrari. Oh, that's, that's, right. a, Mercedes. that's a that's a really <laughs> bold move, but he gets away with it. <laughs> he did it a minute ago to uh, Charlie. 
no contact was made on that part. This is just getting really feisty between everybody here. It's great, and, yeah. And, and saying that, actually, you know, Jigsaw has actually fallen. As, well, you and, and Leroy have pulled a, a big gap already on these guys because the battle is so much. I think Jigsaw's tyres have Ewan's just on gone prime. off the cliff. Ewan is on prime. He's actually Ewan's just got that? ahead of Leroy. He's just got ahead of Leroy to turn seven. Actually, that was a. I just wow. caught the end of that, but that was a good one from uh, from you in there. Those prime tires are coming to to work for him now. As the options are probably starting to go off, you'll probably see the people on option tires pitting on the next lap. And then wow, they're the all outdoor, struggling. They are indeed. Well, Jay Pierce has got better grip than Jigsaw. He's having a look on the inside of turn eleven, but oh. compromised his line. Really. He's gone really. Harry's going to get him. Oh, 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 God. And Harry on the inside of Jay Pierce. No, oh, he's going to leave room for Je Charlie to follow him through. And he has followed him through. Jay well, Pierce I'm losing two places in back, one corner. Back oh, on God. With, back on board with Leroy. He's got the ARS on you. He passed him on the inside of the final corner again. But we could have the same. Oh, Ewan's got a really bad exit. He's lost traction. This could be Ewan's chance. Harry, Harry Pitts. Harry Pitts in the battle. Harry, and I think he's trying, trying to go for the undercut there. As Ewan yeah, does have the DRS probably. on the back of Leroy, Leroy defends the inside, Ewan trying to go around the outside and hug it, but Leroy defends his position Ooh. well in towards turn I think, two. Did, I think Jay Fish just tapped the back of Charlie to get up the inside of turn one, tries to go around the outside of turn two, side forward ditch and there goes Jay Pierce. Round he goes. Was that Jay Pierce's fault? Ah, I don't, I don't know, they, I don't know, it's more of the middle of turn two and I think... I don't think Charlie could have really gone any more inside than he was, so... Racing incident then, we'll probably Ooh, call big, that, big but... slide there, yeah. I'll tell you what, the guy... Has... JP has two side pods now. Indeed. It Tyler is. wrecked. Well, the, the, the top three guys are actually setting pretty similar lap times. There's no real change in terms of their gaps at the moment, but Fat Penguin still currently leads ahead of ACP Beast. And in fact, if, if anything, it looks like Irish Blue Gunner is closer to Beast than what Beast is to Fat Penguin. Go around to them now, just looking at the whole field to see where everyone was because I wasn't even sure. After the first sort of round, first round, of two people were pitted over uh, XRO Cornish and I believe it was. Uh, oh god, I was on board with the first I pitted, I believe. I can't remember who was Harry, that's the one. And pitting Irish Blue Gunner and pitting Red Bull in. of oh, Beast. So, yes, well, Pat so Penguin someone stays stayed out. out. Pat, Pat Penguin, the, the race leader, stays out for yet another lap. A few others have stayed out there. But no, you and Wilkins on the primes. Options for Irish. So Irish has gone for the options and doing the primes at the end. What's Beast going on to, I wonder? Prime. Uh, so, split strategy there. So, Blue Guy needs to make that, is, needs to make that move as soon as possible. Just see, has anyone undercut? They couldn't have really done an undercut from that far back they were to the leaders but has Harry undercutted? Oh well they're well, formerly known as Roger Tag in ninth place now where is the undercutting Harry? I think that was him there so I, he has done it I think and so has XRL Cornish which was behind the battle but he's actually done the undercut, he's gone onto the options but there you go undercut to work, undercut charm for Harry, that's a big gap Indeed, his undercut does work on here a treat, but the problem he's going to have is he's going to have to go a lot longer on these set of tyres or on his next stint, so that could compromise him at the end, but for now it's wor it's working well for him. Yeah, really well there. And Jay Pierce is closing those on Charlie during that last lap, even off on the spin. Well, Jay Pierce has clearly got the pace, he's just been in lucky with two side pod glitches already. Yeah. And we're, 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 not even a third, we're not even a third away into this race yet. There's well, two just, side pods already, that's really on there. Uh, oh, Fat Penguin about, uh, slides with the last corner. Box, he, but he boxes. Very racing so far, this one. Very, very close. This is what F4 was like last season. Indeed it was, yeah. It was really good last season when I had the privilege of doing it with Swishbone, Farmer Legend, as P2, uh, Leroy Pitt. So Ewan will take the lead on his alternative strategy. We will watch him towards the end. He will be quicker as the Options for Fat on. Penguin. The fact that we're going options again and then do a last stint on the prime tyres, but is he going to be undercut? Yeah. There's a few people. Uh, it's extra old grave digger no, 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 and I. Was it? Oh, is it DC? That's Chris. Oh, is it That's Chris. That's Chris. 
So it is the right behind uh, him. Yes, yes, it will. Blue, Blue Gullis just made a great move on the inside of Apex Beast. Uh, Beast is oh, going to take him it back, back though. Oh, he's, letting, yeah. he's actually letting back through. That's probably not what he needs, is it? As Fat Perrin gets poor That's just too kind. This, is this Apex too kind. Beast's chance? To get ahead of him into turn yes. four whilst he's got cold tyres. Warm tyres. He he's looking for the. Oh, he is! Oh, 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 that was a little, yeah, a little bit. And Blue Gunner went wide just... and he couldn't take advantage of it, so Fat Penguin just holds on for now. Oh, they're going to be close to those two cars ahead of them. Oh, oh, the he's the he's oh, he takes Beast and Luke Gravel! He's hit. Oh, he hit Irish as he spun, so Irish saved him there. Don't think any damage happened to either car, so that was lucky. Very lucky. lucky there, no damage. Well, Beast has lost position as a result, but thankfully not lost any damage and Blue Gunner, so two very lucky people. <laughs> but that has allowed Fat Penguin to pull out a little bit of a gap. I do want to quickly go to the back of the back. I've just seen how those got are very close again. <laughs> Indeed, yeah. Well, Fat Penguin is closed in immediately already on P3, which so, is the Toro Rosso, I believe. So. Is it J. Pierce? It, no, it's Chris. No, Mason it's not. Too. No, J. Pierce is just part of uh, past uh, Charlie White on the last lap. Well, Fat Penguin has got the it's DRS. Right. He's going to go down on the inside as well as the final corner. Chris Knight too defending for all he's worth. He's actually boxed. So Fat Penguin does take that position for now, and he will be well. He won't be retake lead because Ewan is still out on his prime tyres. <laughs> Wonder how those guys pitting now are going to fare to these guys on their alternate strategies. Well, I must say that is they were of course behind a, them. That is a bit of an early pit stop, I must say, even for prime tyres. I would have expected prime, them to yeah. go to at least lap 12, the end of lap 12, and then do two uh, really? options then to eight laps. That's the best strategy. The options go off after about eight laps. There's a defending Jay Pierce on Charlie. Charlie's got to go the long way round of turn one if he's going to do it. I don't think he is. Maybe the cutback for turn two. Not going to get it done. Does he have the better traction out of turn two though on Jay Pierce? He could try and throw it here over to throw a dummy up the inside. Yeah, he's going to put it up the inside. He can get alongside. He's probably going to break a little bit later. Same time breaking. Lock up for Jay Pierce. And Charlie's up the inside and actually done the corner like you said. Better than Jay Pierce and heads through into ninth place. Both on the I prime tyre there as well. Oh, and there's a spinning Red Bull of I Love Jigsaws. He did exactly what Apex Deep Beast did, but there was no car to save him and off he went. Luckily, he kept it out of the wall. Oh, God. He's got no grip. He's just got in the way of Forced India, but he's down to 30 or 40 now. So, Jigsaws had a decent qualifying. He's found himself now at the back of the field. As out in front, SAPX Beast on these prime tyres is losing a considerable amount of time. Ewan does indeed pit. Probably a lap too early, I would think, again. But, you know, I can be. I have been proven wrong before. I think you are wrong. I just know that this is, that what I say is right because I am right. <laughs> but you've been proven wrong, so... Yeah, but it's a, rare, it's a rarity. As Fat Penguin... You didn't say that. <laughs> Fat Penguin has taken me, but he's got Blue Gunner not too far behind him. My prediction. Eileen was well, going to try and pass right, just tag for fifth place on the inside. Easy move, probably for Eileen right well, here. Pass right, just and if he he's missed his braking though, so nicely done by well, right, just to get back up the inside. Is he going to get fourth back? All bit of contact. Eileen well, tries to make some room for himself. He's got better tyres than right, just can he stick around the outside? This is for fourth. back, not right, just. I'm going to call him right, just. I'm just oh, used to calling him right, just. Oh, oh, yes, after spinning. Oh, a little bit more contact there between these two, and I think better traction will help Leroy get past Righteous. I'm going to call him Righteous just because I know he's Righteous. He's as simple as that, and he is through. Well, I'm just currently doing my corner cutting duties, but yes, out in front, Blue Gunner, who is now Fat Penguin's main rival because ACP XP is on the prime tyres. He's got a clean air after the ACP XP. That's probably a good, the just only good thing had. I can suggest. A massive lag spike. That's probably Chris. On the map. Because he does get them. I, no, it was. I think Speed Demon. That'd I think. I'm not too sure, but I think it was. That'd be unfortunate if he did get one, but. These two are very close of Chris versus. Grave Digger for 12th place. You yeah, actually expect me to be saying that. Actually, that's quite close in the mid pack for. Whatever position they're fine for, probably around about fifth place. So I'll quickly jump to that Irish blue gunner. He's catching loads on Fat Penguin as well. 
It's not really loads. There's a couple of tents here and there. He's not within... The, oh, is he Mario Kart's it through through turn <laughs> one? <laughs> oh, dear. I hate... I, Oh, here we oh, no, I'm not, I'm wait. Not gonna go there. Is you and I think you and broken DRS here. Cause it's flashing DRS, but he's not opened it, so could be possibly broken. I don't know, but you and then on his split strategy, gonna go prime option, probably option again. He's got a better run than next. So a corner out of turn two. He's alongside, gonna go running outside for fifth place. A little bit of a tap and corner there, just been enough run though. You do gonna go running outside if he breaks later, and gets better tracking out this one, which he probably will. And he does, he will have the inside for the next one, and he is 5th place now, taken from XRL corner. He's going to be flying now, is Ewan. That's really interesting. Chris has actually just sent me a Facebook message saying, Angry Mario Kart. Did he pit? Or was he still out on the road? He, he must have pit. <laughs> That's, it, that's interesting. Jigsaw has just sent me a message saying, My right trigger came loose, so I was too slow accelerating. And then he went straight off. Indeed, he Maybe he just had a load of understeer. Potentially, yeah, but I'm a, well, oh, in front of Blue Gunner has caught up quite a bit this lap. He's not, surprisingly, I thought he was in, he was within DRS, but he wasn't. But I think he is on this second part, down towards turn one. And indeed, he is Blue Gunner, he is within the detection yeah. point of Fat Penguin. And he's actually just set a new PB of 38 1 as a result of that. So, get him on here at the front between Fat Penguin and Irish Blue Gunner. They've actually both set exact, well, near enough, the exact same lap time Blue Gunner. Less than, well, 200 quicker, but he's all over the back now of Fat Penguin, and this is the battle for the lead for Sydney versus Ferrari. I'll definitely come back to that at the end of the next lap, because they are going to be even more closer than they are now, but I just want to go back to a very close battle that I think is forming as Ewan is going to actually get Leo as well, probably at the end of this lap. If I go through every single car there is for ninth place, if you, Chris, when was he ninth and right? Oh! The. Uh, Charlie and the Ferrari, late braking very much, and Chris, oh, I think he just lets him back through, but uh, very, very late on the brakes, sir. Oh, the Ferrari, he is, I would say he's probably being held up, he was racing with Jay Pierce earlier, and Jay Pierce is probably about two, three seconds down the road from him now. I don't know if he's going to get a better run out of this corner, and Chris is not, so he's going to have to stick behind him for a little bit longer as Gravedigger in 11th closes in. Bit by bit, right, just tagging 12th. I'm still going to say it. Speed Demon in 30th place. Uh, Irish, I think, has dropped off a he little has, bit yeah, this he's lap. Dropped off. I've just been on board with him this lap. He has dropped off a little bit. He's outside the, the DRS zone, uh, detection points again. So, better lap from Fat Penguin this time around, and he's managed to eke out a couple of tenths on a uh, blue gun of this lap around. But, you know, it's it's close between these guys. It's about a second, second and a half, I'd say. At most. Here we go. Here we go. Ewan on his. Different strategy to everyone else flying at the moment now behind the other Williams of I Lee Roy. He can go for fourth. If he can get past him very quickly, he can go for Apex Beast. The win is still on the cards. He He's going up the inside in the last corner, which is uh, going to cost him DRS for this bit. And it has. And, well, I, I Lee Roy is just going to. Oh, disconnected! The leader! Ah. The leader has disconnected an Irish blue gunner. He's thinking, oh my god. He's leading! He's actually leading my. I could actually have a right prediction. Touch wood. Go blue gunner. <laughs> oh, I'm, gonna I fat, I'm, I'm going to have to get fat <laughs> penguin in on that one because that is such a huge shame. Leading the race. I not really Leroy comfortable, did but keep, well, well, the Mercedes there. Harry. Don't know where he was going. Mars. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> he was just suddenly <laughs> just started going left. Fat penguin. Simple disconnection, mate. Hello? Okay, maybe we're not going to get anything from Fat Penguin at the moment. Hopefully you can join us soon. I, would, I, I wouldn't blame him. If <laughs> no, I, there isn't a mic in it. I don't, has, he, has he got a mic? He was broken, I think, from last week. Oh, I see. Okay. Yes, yeah. Well... My commiserations Unlucky. do go out for Fat Penguin, obviously leading the race, getting pole position, and now a simple. Bit oh, you went up the inside. It's Come on, a... corner. Yeah, simple disconnection. So I really do feel for you there, Fat Penguin. I really hope that you know next week your connection can hold and you get a really good result because that was just a really appalling look. 
and what it has done, as I've mentioned, is giving Blue Gunner a huge lead over Apex Beast. But Beast will be on the option tires at the end, whereas Blue Gunner's going to have to run the Prime, so it's not Here all we go. over just yet. Here we go, you and then. Up uh, the outside, down the straights for third place, past Eileen Roy, as long as he doesn't miss his braking, and that's, and that's an easy move for Ewan. Okay, so now he's going to have to chase down B, so now, because of the lag out, has put Ewan in the podium places with this strategy, and he's still got another option stint as well to go, as people Indeed, start to but pit but Roy also again. has an option stint to go himself, and the person who's still got to run yes, the prime, it's, it's Irish Blue Gunner, so even though he's got that lead, he could still be vulnerable. Yes, very, very Every, true. Everything is still to play for here. As we've actually got some people already making their final, well, I would think final pit stops already this That's early. It's a bit mental, isn't it? It does. It does indeed look a little bit mental. But, you know, these guys have given us a fantastic race so far. And this this last thing is, hot, well, would probably just spice things up a bit. But, yeah, as I said, this has been really good so far. Good quality. It's a shame, obviously, about Fat Penguin's disconnection and... Uh, as well as uh, JP is having two sidebar glitches, but nonetheless, beyond that, it has been brilliant. I think it made it put a bit more entertainment into it as well, to be honest. As I'm going to put, put a pun here, but it did make it more exciting. That's just... Sh I nearly swore, did I didn't know, did I didn't. Did you get it? Did you get it? <laughs> yes, I do get, did get it, but it? it was crap. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> oh, I think about even... it every time I think of excitement, I don't know why. I always think X. I don't know. Yeah, I think that was. X. Caliber? No. <laughs> <laughs> Xperia. Sony Xperia phone. I did know. Chris LBW uh, has a car off. Harry D right behind him. I think he's actually just been part of Harry D. I think he has, because Chris seems to have a lot better traction out of the last corner. He is on the options, which don't look too bad compared to Harry's primes. Chris, sixth place at the moment, doing well in the tour or something. Tell you what, Ewan's not really up. pulling away that much from Lear. I think Ewan's options no, he's not. are starting to drop off a little bit here. He is catching Beast, that's a certainty. But he's not catching him at the rate he needs to. He needs to be right all over the back of him by the time they come for their last pit stops, which I think is going to be within the next two laps. Speed Demon goes on the inside of XR Corners, turn one for tenth place and passes him. Well, so Fat Penguin's just said he's going to watch yeah, the stream. Right, right. Yeah, he's just saying he's going okay. off and going to watch the stream <laughs> when he gets back. So, as I said, you know, really unfortunate for him. I do feel for him. But you're in P3 at the moment. As I said, he's not. Leroy is sticking to him. Only about a second and a half off. And he's, yeah, Ewan's not really putting in the lap times that he should be at the moment. He did put a PV of a 38.8 on that last lap. But I think being stuck behind Leroy has kind of compromised him a little bit. Oh, Vector Old Corners is not having a great time on those primes. I can tell you that for sure, down on 11. Someone is in the pits. That's that's Irish Blue Gunner, the Irish. leader. The leader pit, so here we go. Well, I don't think it, we wouldn't, I don't think Beast should pit this lap. Indeed he's not. He needs to go out, stay out for at least another one or two laps. Ewan stays out as well. Leroy stays out. So Irish Blue Gunner's hopefully trying to claw his way out in that gap between P3 and 4. That's what he's he doing. on the for. prime tyre. Indeed, and I think he is going to come out in that gap, so Blue Gun is not going to be held up by anybody, and he's got clean air, and he can pump in the lap times. It's going to be quite cool, no, he's possibly got that. It's Jay Pierce in fifth, so don't let him have a run on you. He could possibly get him. He's on the prime size himself, he has got another option stint. I think, go. He, I think he's got just, just a big enough that. gap. Just about. What, Nicely though. played by Irish, though. You and Come on, he, Irish. Ewan's now pulled away from Leroy, and he's closing more on, on their beast, so Ewan's actually doing what he needs to do, he's, he's pumping going in the for times. It. He does, yeah, He's possibly could have had a bad lap, though, couldn't he? Well, potentially, yeah, but because yeah, cause this lap looks really good so far as I'm sticking on board with him as he closes in ever so quickly on the back of Beast, so Beast needs to look in his rear view mirrors as well as pumping his own go uh, good lap times in for it before he gets onto his last stint. I wonder if one of these two is going to react to Blue Gunner and box in this lap, but it would be too early.